When you receive your purge manifold kit, you will have two one foot sections of tubing, two male slip adapters, a moisture filter, a two way valve, a four way valve, and your syringe to draw vacuum on your system. You'll start off by attaching the tubing to the canister using the fittings and ferrules. And you'll want to get it started with your fingers. Um, if it doesn't seat right like this, you want to loosen it up and reseat it to make sure it threads on easily so you don't accidentally strip the connection. And then tighten up with your 9 16 inch wrench. And then from here, you will attach your moisture filter. And then this will connect to the side of the four-way valve. So use one of the male slip adapters to connect that and the moisture filter. And from there, you can attach a piece of tubing down to your sampling point. And then the two-way valve at the bottom and the final slip adapter to connect down to your sampling point. Once you've confirmed that you have all parts of your purge manifold, this is what it will look like when it's assembled. You use your nut fitting and ferrule to attach the first one foot length of tubing to the sumi canister. At the other end, you insert your moisture filter and then use that to connect to the bottom of the T on the four-way valve with the first male slip adapter. Then you'll attach the tube, screw the tubing into the bottom of the four-way valve. And then the other end, you have your two-way valve and then the other male slip adapter. At the top here is where you connect your syringe. You can see that it's just screwed in to the top. And now when you are ready to leak check your system, um, here we don't have a sampling point, so I'm going to close the two-way valve. Um, you'll make sure that the off valve is set to the um, opposite the T, so all directions are open, and then you will draw a vacuum on the system with your syringe. You can see that the vacuum is dropping, and then you'll want to close this valve here, so then it can't draw more air back in the system from the syringe. So you can see that the pressure is dropped, so you'll wait your desired amount of time to confirm that there are no leaks in your sampling train. And then once your leak check is confirmed, um, if you would like to purge your sampling line, you can use the syringe in the same way. You just unscrew it and exhaust the air that you drew out, reattach, and then we'll open up the two-way valve to our sampling point and open up the four-way valve here. And then you can draw aliquots of air through your sampling point. But make sure that you turn the valve back to close on the syringe before removing it. Otherwise, um, you draw your into your line through that valve. And that's it. Good luck sampling.